Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. We are Jay Hughes Security and my name is Andrew. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fascinating document tool named Crypti. First, we'll start with an overview of the tool and what makes it so interesting. Second, we'll take a look at how you can use it to take notes, create documents, and store pictures. Last, we'll take a look at some other features and settings of the tool, including powerful search options and a privacy feature called Ghost Folders. So what is Crypti? At its core, this is an app that allows you to write notes or other documents or store pictures in albums. As with nearly all applications we recommend, this is encrypted. The encryption used is AES-256, a very good standard, and it occurs on the device and only then uploaded to their servers. This web app's code is open source, meaning the encryption protocol and actions can be verified. What we like most about Crypti is its clean ability to be used in any environment for a reliable encrypted experience. It offers equal or greater utility than the average note-taking app. One of the many things that makes Crypti useful and unique is that it only exists as a progressive web application. While this video won't go into all of the ways that this can be advantageous, one way to think about this is that it can be used just like a native app on your computer or mobile device, but without needing to download it from wherever you get your applications. This also means that it can be used across all devices and operating systems with almost no difference in the experience for the user. You simply need to use a browser that supports progressive web apps, such as Safari on iOS, Edge browser on Windows, or Chrome or a Chromium browser like Brave on Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Additionally, as a progressive web app, Crypti is always up to date with no additional updates required by the user. This enhances security by avoiding the delay of processing updates through a third-party app store or by a user neglecting to install the update once it's released through that process. Crypti has a clean and minimalist design, but that doesn't mean that the features available are bare. At the time of this video, there are two core functions the ability to upload pictures into albums, and the ability to create documents. There are two keys, or passwords, required to get into the app. Setting up the app is simple. First, you need to set up a user ID and password. For the user ID, it gives you the choice of a username or an email address. In almost all cases where this option is provided, we recommend using a unique username to offer a measure of security and compartmentalization. We'll discuss the email option later in this video. The password here is an interesting topic. There appear to be no composition rules, which means you can use anything you'd like. This is generally a good thing for security as long as you don't use a simple or common password. It can also be quite long, as we tested it up to 108 characters. Although anything longer than 24 is usually not needed, we were impressed by this. After creating the account, you will need to create a second password or passphrase for the encryption key. We tested this one up to a ridiculous 256 characters, but again, that's not needed in almost any case. The decision to save your encryption key in the Crypti session will need to be made specific to your threat model. Even in their web app, Crypti recommends against saving the encryption key to the device for security reasons. Should you choose to save your encryption key to the device for convenience, you can change this option at any time. We would recommend using a reputable password manager to create a new complex password or passphrase. We used a passphrase with spaces or random dividers included, and this is what we would recommend for any application that will accept it. You can learn more about password managers in our videos on NordPass and 1Password. For the free tier, you are permitted 100 megabytes of data storage, with paid tiers increasing to 10 gigabytes, 400 gigabytes, and 2 terabytes. For notes and text documents with minimal photos, the free tier should be sufficient. But if you'd like to store photos, this storage amount is impractical and you will likely need to upgrade to a paid plan. Creating folders and documents in Crypti is simple. From the main page, click on the folder with the plus sign. This is pretty universal. You can create additional folders on the main page or folders within existing folders as expected. By clicking on the ellipsis, the three dots, you have a decent number of options. Many of these are what you might expect, but there are two that are noteworthy, such as the option to link the folder into an existing open document. This can be useful if you're looking to add a folder or document 
for easy access within the notes themselves. The other feature is ghost folders. We'll talk about that in a moment, or you can use the timestamps in this video's description below to go straight to that section. Creating documents is the same experience. Click on the page icon with a plus sign, again, as expected. Alternatively, you can also upload existing documents from your computer or mobile device. This could be very useful for users who decide to move here from another service. Once a document is encrypted, you can perform several actions. Aside from the expected options, you have the option to make it available offline. This is another great feature of a progressive web app. Since they behave nearly identical to normal applications, you can use some features even when offline. You can also sort items with various criteria. Once you open the document, you will see that Crypti offers a wide range of editing options. In our experience, this goes far beyond most normal markdown or editing options available in other security or privacy-focused note-taking or document apps. We won't cover all of these since they're similar enough to full-fledged writing suites like Microsoft, Google, Apple, and others. While the editing options aren't quite as robust as full-fledged document suites, we feel that most users will have what they need to create even professional documents. You have the ability to embed photos, videos, tables, and other items into the note. And if you're a programmer, we found the option to add code to be impressive enough for basic commenting. There are also several options relating to the document. On computers, these are located on the right edge, and on phones and tablets, these are located on the top of the document. The slide icon lets you lock a document to prevent changes for when you want to interact in view only mode. You can enable spell check or toggle viewing mode to see how the document looks for printing or in a browser. The information icon can give you data about the document, a total word count, and a selection word count if you have part of the text selected. There is also a table of contents if you use the headers available in the documents. The ruler icon lets you toggle between continuous scroll or page setup also known as paper mode in Crypti. If the document is in paper mode, you can place the document in various size formats common in the US and Europe. Another great feature of this tool is that you can create PDFs from scratch or upload PDFs and edit them all within this app. This is done with Crypti's own PDF engine so that they don't rely on a third party's PDF tool. When exporting, you can choose a markdown format Microsoft Word format, or PDF. If you select to print as a PDF, this gives you the option to create a PDF with or without password protection. If you select password protected, you can choose to prevent alteration to the document and prevent printing. Crypti on a computer also allows for using many of the keyboard shortcuts you're already familiar with, like Control or Command plus A to select all, Control or Command plus C to copy, and so on. Just before this video is released, there was an update and so we waited to include those notes. This update included significant improvements to the search function with claims to reach two times faster speeds within the app. The most significant improvement, however, was the addition of no less than 11 powerful new ways to enhance your searches. While searching through documents may not be the most exciting topic, these additions are rather unique and present the user with a nearly boundless way to search within their document titles and folders. We will only cover a few of these search features in this video, but you can check out the link in the description below if you'd like to read the full article on their release. As a brief overview of some of the search options, you can perform a fuzzy search, which will return one-off spellings of the search term. So a search for coat might also include results for cost, or boat. You can search by file type, such as by relating a search for image with JPEG, PNG, and more, or by returning EPUB, DOC, and others by searching office or book. You can also use various characters like the equal sign for exact matches, the pipe for a broad search, an exclamation mark to exclude a word, or a caret at the beginning of a search for prefix and a dollar sign at the end to search for a suffix. There are many options and they can be hard to remember, which is why Crypti also added a light bulb in the search bar to instantly show these options for easier recall. As an important note here, Crypti can only search the titles of the documents and folders, not the text inside the documents. This should be reassuring because properly encrypted documents should be resistant to searches, as is the case here. An important note on embedding videos in the documents. 
In order for this to work properly, you will need to choose the embed video link from whichever service you're looking to add to your document. The feature will not work if you simply copy the link in the address bar or in the share video option and choose copy link. We tested this on a few of the major video hosting services such as YouTube, Vimeo, Nvidias, and Rumble. Each of these worked smoothly choosing the embed video option. Going into the photos section, we can see a few options here. You can create new albums, selecting an album name, change the date, and choose an album cover. Although initially you won't be able to change the album cover because it requires you to already have photos in the album to select from, these albums operate as expected. You can add photos by tapping upload or by dragging and dropping pictures into the album. One great aspect is you can take photos directly into the app when you're using a mobile device. This could be a great way to capture moments where you may not want to worry about the photos syncing later. Once you've added photos, you can select the info icon to add description information and date, as well as tags. This can help you search for your photos later. You can also tap the heart icon to save as a favorite or download the photos to the current device. Generally, we find the interface to be clean and easy to use. Back on the gallery screen, tapping on the ellipsis opens some options, including ghosting a folder. We'll discuss this next. One of the greatest features about Crypti, aside from the excellent encryption and overall usability, is ghost folders. This applies to documents, folders, and photo albums in the same way. Creating a ghost folder hides the folder from sight while retaining the encryption and contents. Once ghosted, a folder disappears, and there's no direct method to know that a ghost folder exists. Once ghosted, a folder can be summoned. To do this, you will be prompted to enter the exact name of the folder. Typing the name incorrectly has no result, and if you forget the exact spelling of the folder, there is no way for Crypti to help you recover it. As a note, once a ghosted folder has been summoned and made visible, you will have to ghost it again when you're done with it. This is because Crypti has no knowledge of what you're doing inside the encrypted progressive web app, so they can't apply an automatic ghosting feature without having intimate knowledge of your storage or having access to your encryption key. While this might be frustrating from a user perspective, that is, you have to remember to ghost a folder after summoning it, this is great from a privacy perspective. The use case for this can complement many different threat models. It could contain highly sensitive information, such as a folder of tax documents or medical records, or it could contain research or business documents. Additionally, it could be used by an abused partner who's trying to safeguard documents or photos from their abusive partner, such as if they've started the legal process to file for divorce or log police reports, but don't want the information to be known by their abuser. Even if an individual is compelled to show their crypty web app contents to someone, the ghost folder would be hidden in a way that makes it undetectable. We've already discussed some aspects of deniability in how ghost folders are almost perfectly hidden. But another great thing about the Crypti web app is that it retains almost perfect deniability in a broader way than only ghost folders and hiding content. Your name, email, phone number, or other personally identifiable information is not used in any way to set up the account. That means that the account cannot be tied directly to a user, other than by whatever information may be stored inside of it should someone gain on unauthorized access through considerable effort. Additional deniability is ensured from the fact that there is no record of you ever having downloaded the web app, as there would be if you had purchased an app through an app store. In other words, if you use this in a private browser window and delete your history, no one would really even know that you use Crypti in the first place to go after your documents or photos. In settings, there are a few other useful features. My data allows you to download all metadata saved in your Crypti account. Doc settings lets you clear your data cache, which might result various issues with documents or the web app becoming unresponsive. Under login and security, you do have the ability to add an email address for account recovery, if you choose to. This is not required and means some deniability will be sacrificed. If you do select this option, the email address will replace your username. You will also see the device security where it discusses the pros and cons of saving your encryption key to the device and allows you to change your selection at whim.
Under App Preferences, you can select a quick start option. This changes where you land when opening the app. By default, this is set to Home, but you can change it to Documents or Photos depending on which you primarily use. You can also toggle Dark Mode and change how long it takes the app to log you off after an activity if you have not saved the encryption key to your device's memory. Under Plan and Payments, you can upgrade or downgrade your storage option. And of course, in the settings, you also have the option to delete your account. In the Help setting, there are useful guides for how to use the app and even specific guides for how to migrate from other note-taking apps or photo apps. Crypti offers a reliable and secure method for creating and saving notes, professional documents, and photos. From our experience, the app is intuitive, clean, and easy to use. We like that it is a reliable experience no matter what device or operating system you use it on. This is helpful when using the app on iOS, Android, or desktop. We wrote this video script and related research entirely within Crypti and the experience was smooth. We would recommend Crypti for everyone from infrequent note takers to students or professionals and from those with relatively permissive threat models who just want to add some extra privacy and security to those with very restrictive threat models who are actively seeking to safeguard sensitive information. There's also little things about the website that make it stand out as a creative and experienced based product, such as how the 404 error page looks. This is the page that typically just returns a bland, we can't find your page message. But in the case of Crypti, it returns an artistic picture and the 1916 poem by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken. It's little things like this that often go unnoticed, but adds a unique personal touch that's just a little bit more effort than most developers put into their work. This tool has grown in usefulness over the past year, and we will continue to watch it as we expect it to mature even more in the future. As a note, Jehu Security is neither endorsed by nor affiliated with Crypti. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and click the like button if you have found value. A lot of time and effort goes into each of our videos to try to make content that adds value to you. To help others find this information more readily, consider subscribing and sharing our videos for others to see. As always, stay active and stay secure.